Hello there and welcome to the series of videos looking to go through the content for maths A level in the first year. Here we're looking at linear simultaneous equations so you can answer questions from exercise 3a. Hopefully you've seen a lot of these before at GCSE. So the first way that we're going to look at doing simultaneous equations is by eliminating a variable um, and subtracting or adding the equations from each other. So what we have to do here, hopefully this is a familiar setup for a simultaneous equation, and what we're looking to do is either subtract or add these equations to cancel out one of the letters. Now in this case here we've got a 2 and a 3, so they won't be able to subtract, cancel each other out, and a 3y and a minus y, now they won't be able to either add or subtract to cancel out either. And in this case here what we have to do is multiply one of the equations, or maybe both of the equations, by a value so that they will, um, they'll have coefficients on the y's or the x's that cancel out. First I'll check the x's, um, so there's nothing that I can times 2 by to get to 3, but I can times minus 1y to get to 3y or minus 3y, so what I think I'll do is I'll times the second equation by the number 3, and I'll have to times the whole equation by that number 3, so it's still the same equation. So here I get 9x minus 3y equals 69. Now what I'm going to do, you can see here that I've got my 3y and minus 3y together there. They are the um, same value on the coefficient of y. And because they're a different sign here, the way that we're going to be able to cancel them out is if we add the equations together. So what we're going to get is 11x. 3y add minus 3y cancels out and makes 0, so that's why that's disappeared. And 8 has 69 is 77, so we can clearly get here that x is 7. We haven't quite finished the question here though, because we need to plug x as 7 back into one of the equations. So we'll choose number 2, because that's a bit easier. So we get 21 minus y equals 23, and we get y is negative 2. So that's the answer for the question. The answer here is what x equals 7, y equals minus 2. Hopefully you're familiar with this technique and this is just a bit of a revision of uh, how you do simultaneous equations. Now sometimes you um, have to times both of the equations by a letter, by a number I mean, um, so don't be afraid to do that. Okay, another way that you may not have seen to solve simultaneous equations is by substitution. So, I'll go through this question um, with substitution. What we're going to do is make one of the equations have a... Um, create a, a, a... rearrange the equation to make one of the letters the subject, and then we're going to substitute it into the other equation. I think it looks easier to rearrange the first equation so what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange this to make y the subject, because it's just on its own. It'd be a bit fiddly to make x the subject of this equation, because we'll have fractions involved there. So make the easier one the subject. And in this case, it's going to be y equals 2x minus 1. Right, what we're going to do now is replace y with 2x minus 1 into the second equation here. So we're substituting in a value for y, um, into the second equation. So replace y in the equation 2 with 2x minus 1 because they're equivalent to each other. So here is what we're going to get. We've got 4x plus 2y equals minus 30 but we're going to change this y into 2x minus 1. And now we can just expand the brackets and solve this equation to work out x. So we get x is minus 3.5 and just like we did before, we're going to need to um, substitute x back into either equation 1 or 2 to get y is minus 8. Okay, so it's this key step here where we substituted the letter y into the second equation because that's what y equals. Okay, so that's the key part for solving simultaneous equations by the method of substitution. And you can use either method... Um, in, uh, in each of the different contexts, um, it's, it's up to you. Both will give you the same answers. Right, your turn then. Have a go at uh, this simultaneous equation here. Maybe you need to rearrange this first. Uh, pause the video and have a go. 
Right, okay, well done for pausing the video and having a go. Let's solve this together now. So what I think I'll do is I'll set it up so I've got some x's, some y's, and equals some number on the other side, and I'll use the elimination method. So 3x minus 2y equals minus 5. Uh, and the second equation is a bit more fiddly. We'll have to expand this, so we'll get 5x plus 5y equals 6x plus 6 and take the 6x on the other side and you get minus x plus 5y equals 6. So we have two equations now, equation 1 and equation 2, and we need to solve these. What I can see here is if I multiply equation, three by th equation 2 by 3, then I'm going to get a 3x and a minus 3x. So let's do that. Equation 2 times 3, I'm going to get minus 3x, and remember I have to times the whole equation by that number 3, 15y equals 18, and now I'm going to add equation 1 and this new equation 3 that I've just created. So it's this line here, add this line here. So 3x add minus 3x. So the reason I decided to add here was because they have different signs. If they were either both positive, then I'd have to subtract one equation from the other, or if they were both negative, I'd have to subtract one equation from the other. But in this case where there are different signs, I'm going to add the equations together because that's how they nicely cancel out. And in this case here, that will give me 0x, which is perfect. That's what I want. I'm going to get 13y equals 13, so y equals 1, and then substituting that into one of the equations, I think I'll choose equation 2, x minus x plus 5 equals 6, uh, add this x onto the other side, take away the 6, and you get minus 1 equals x. So there's my answer, x is minus 1, y is 1. Now just to also show you as well that you can do this question on your calculator, uh, if you select the menu button and scroll down to equation slash function option A and then click on the uh, simultaneous equations mode then the number of unknowns we need is 2 because we've got an x and a y so click uh, 2 on your buttons there and then just enter the uh, coefficients on your simultaneous equations into your calculator. Notice here how you'll also need to enter negatives into these equations as well. Probably best using this negative button here. Press enter on those and yet you get the same answer, x is minus 1 and y is 1. Okay, so that's really useful to know that that is there just in case you feel like you're going wrong somewhere. Right, so go back and now answer exercise uh, 3a. Remember watching the video is only 10% of the learning the other 90% is going to come from you trying questions and working through them independently. Feel free to go and ask your teacher if you need some more help. Okay, thanks for watching.